Hey, Xander Rose here in a greenhouse at Rain Tree Nursery. I'm about to do some pawpaw grafting. So we grow pawpaws in a block out in the orchards, named varieties. We take those varieties, put them into cold storage, and then take them out to graft onto rootstocks that we grow. So this named variety is Wilson pawpaw. So what you do is you take your stick of cyan wood from the named variety of pawpaw, and you match diameters, thicknesses, with your rootstock. So see how these match? And you want that a good ways above the soil level. So then you're gonna sanitize your implements with alcohol so you're not spreading disease around in case that could be an issue. You're gonna take uh, your grafting knife. The beveled or rounded edge is away from the cut so you end up with a smooth angle on the cut. Cut at a pretty steep angle. Let's see how I do here. That's pretty good, I think. So it's a steep angle, it's a smooth cut, it's straight, there's no undulations. This green tissue is the cambium layer. That's where the plant originates everything else. So that's the rootstock. So now I'm gonna turn the, the scion wood upside down. So that way the smooth flat side of the grafting knife is towards the part that's going to be grafted onto the rootstock. So then I'm gonna check to see how these line up. See, so this is a little long. So maybe I'll redo it and try to not cut at as steep of an angle. It's a bit tricky, you know, you might end up with a little flange there. There, look, those pretty well line up. So now you, the two cambiums are lined up so they can grow into each other. Then I'm gonna cut a wedge here, just a, a vertical slit, kind of rock the knife. You don't wanna cut yourself. Rock it in there to just above that heartwood in the middle. And then same here, correspondingly. Rock it in, da da da. I'm gonna do a fresh cut on the tip here. That, that smooth and then check this out so this is whip and tongue grafting you kind of ease it in there and now the two clefts are locking into each other and you want that to all be lined up the cambium layers are lined up that way it can heal and now you don't want this to dry out these exposed surfaces to desiccate so you're going to take this these uh grafting strips. This is like special rubber band and you're, I twist it the opposite way. I'm going to um, turn it so that it doesn't get all weirdly twisty on me. And then I twist it around here. So that way I'm covering the whole graft. I tie a little knot like you would tying a balloon. Pull that. Don't want to pull it too tight. Otherwise it might break. Lastly, a little wood glue right there on the tip, a little messy, that's okay. That keeps the top from drying out. And so now this is a grafted pawpaw. This is a um, vegetative bud here and hopefully that will leaf out and that will be a sign that it's healing and working. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe you can learn some grafting on your own. Bye.